for two weeks I've played in this $40 shoe and I'll save you the trouble of having to wait for the verdict. This is the XTEP Cloud 2.0 and it's very much worth the price, even exceeding my expectations. It's suitable for low to the ground shifty players and it's an awesome performer overall. Now, if you want to know the details as to why this shoe is good, especially for its price, stick around and let's talk. Welcome back this fresh pair, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. That said, let's dive in. For a $40 shoe, don't expect premium materials using a groundbreaking setup. I talked about the materials in my first impressions video last October 1, 2024. I'll post the link in the description box if you want to check it out. So far, the shoe hasn't shown any signs of breaking or tearing after more than two weeks of wearing them, which is a good sign, especially for a $40 shoe. Only worry I have is that the collar lining could be the first to tear off as it's really flimsy. Other than that, so far so good. The traction is the best performance feature of the XTEP Cloud 2.0. While the outsole accumulates some dirt on dusty floors which is normal, the grip is still really good. One quick swipe and it's back to giving that stop on a dime grip. If traction is your priority, you can't go wrong with this shoe. You can hoop in these on outdoor courts like blacktop and rough concrete floors as the treads are fairly thick and not too soft but expect the outsole to wear out faster than your outdoor specific shoe as these are primarily designed for indoor courts. The feather foam midsole feels more plush than responsive. It's on the mushy side especially after the shoe has been fully broken in, but it's not too thick to cause significant lag underfoot or stability issues. This is because the footbed itself is not too high off the ground. A minor quirk is that the heel foam in my pair feels slightly lower as if it has been pre-shrunk in that area. I'm not sure if this is by design but it's noticeable when walking. However, the impact protection at the heel is still adequate. The shoe has average support overall. The lockdown at the heel and midfoot is adequate and the diagonal TPU overlay will help restrict your feet from sliding off the footbed. I went true to size and the fit was initially a bit snug at the toe box, but after many hours of wearing them, the toe box area loosened up a bit and practically the entire upper itself. Still, unless you really loosen down the laces, it could be a bit difficult to slide your foot in because the instep feels narrow and low. The ventilation is also below average as heat seems to be trapped fairly quickly because of the lining, so keep that in mind. Now, going back to what I said at the start of this video, the XTEP Cloud 2.0 is worth it in my opinion. For a $40 shoe, the performance is better than higher priced shoes. You get awesome traction, a low cushioning setup that is plush with enough support and adequate fit for quick players. But if you need more support, look elsewhere, as this shoe has a basic setup in terms of support. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the XTEP Cloud 2.0, a $40 shoe. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This fresh pair, thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.